Welcome back and thank you for joining me. As promised, today I will be changing the transmission fluid on my Volvo. It's 09 with uh, 60,000 kilometers on it. And this will be the first time I change transmission oil in my Volvo. Let me show you what I got. Original oil from Volvo, total of 12 liters, three jugs or four liter each. I also got two new gaskets. Later on, I will show you where it goes. You can pause the video and take a look at the part numbers. Uh, the method I will be using is field drain, field drain, a couple times. This would be the easiest way to do it. And uh, please look in the description below for any updates. Most up-to-date information I will post in the description below. So take a look over there. You will need Vida dice to properly set the transmission oil level. Without it, you can continue. You also need 17 millimeter hex tool, um, measuring cups from IKEA. I want to see how much I will drain, oil pan, and a few other bits and pieces. Let's get to it. First of all, you want to remove the under engine cover, it's just held by uh, screws. Next, we need to remove from the car the air filter housing, loosen the hose clamp and uh, disconnect the air hose from the housing and then pull on the housing straight up it will detach from the car disconnect the connector from the muff sensor and then uh, remove the wiring from the housing and you're done you will need to remove the housing to get access to the fill plug on the transmission another look this is the air inlet pipe that i've disconnected the connector from the muff, the hose clamp, and the little catch that sec secures the wire to the housing. Now, this is where you fill the transmission oil into the transmission. It's a Torx 55. Now, first of all, make sure that you can unscrew it because you don't want to drain the oil and find out later that you can't add oil. So with uh, a bar and uh, an extension, I'm going to give it a try. Вот так. Good. This means I can continue. So. Now let's take a look where do we drain the oil from. Underneath the transmission there is a combination plug. It consists of two parts. A small Torx 40 and the bigger plug is hex 17 mm. Unscrew the small plug Torx 40 and the oil will start pouring out. To make the oil flow better, I'm gonna unscrew the fill plug and this is the o-ring that I did not buy. I will reuse the old one. 17 millimeter hex. Now it's time to remove the drain plug. There is still lots of oil in there. Considering that the car has uh, 60,000 kilometers on it and it's 09, this is the first uh, transmission oil change. The color is pretty good, there is still some redness to it and it doesn't smell burnt at all. Let the oil drain well and for now I want to show you the combined plug, what it consists of. The small Torx 40 plug sets the level in the transmission and it has a rubber o-ring. I got a new one just in case. And the drain plug hex 17 millimeter has an aluminum uh, washer. I also got a new one for it. Now I wanted to demonstrate how all this looks on the car. Let's pretend that this is our transmission and this is the oil level in it. Start the car, let the engine run until the oil in the transmission reaches between 50 and 60 degrees Celsius. Leave the car running, unscrew the level plug, Torx 40, and the excess oil will drain. And this will be the proper level in the transmission now. And any oil that you add above 
will drain to the proper level again. That's how you set the level in the transmission. I hope that this demonstration was helpful to you guys. The oil has drained completely. I want to drain a little bit aside for comparison later. This is the first drain. This is what I had in the transmission. Now I've drained two plus one. Total uh, we've drained three and something of liters of oil. Now it's time to reinstall back the plug. You don't need to tighten it. Just hand tight because we're going to open it later. And now we're going to pour the first four liters of fresh transmission oil. Now, remember, we drained three liters and we're going to be adding now four liters, which is more. It's not going to damage anything. Don't worry. We're going to set the proper level at the end anyway. So this is the first jug. Once done, hand tighten the fuel plug and we need to start the engine. So we need to reinstall the air filter housing. Uh, we still need access to the fuel plug. So we're going to reinstall it this way. Make sure that you tighten the clamp and don't forget to reconnect the MOF sensor because otherwise the car will not run. Now our aim is to mix the transmission oil. We start the car and this is for demonstration only. What you need to do is leave for 10 seconds in each gear. So 10 seconds in park, in reverse, in neutral, in drive, and then in reverse. 10 seconds in neutral, in reverse, in park. And this way the transmission minutes. oil mixes with the old one. And once done, you want to stop the car and drain the oil again. Engine off. Unscrew the drain plug completely and noticeably the oil is now cleaner. Let the oil drain and I'm gonna pour aside a little bit for comparison later. This would be our first jug 50-50 and now we're gonna repeat this procedure two more times. Reinstall the drain plug, hand tighten, pour the second jug of oil Reinstall the fuel plug, hand tighten. Start the car and repeat. 10 seconds in each gear. Give it some time to run, to mix together. Once done, engine off and drain it again. Drain the oil again and the oil is noticeably even cleaner now. I've sped up the process here and uh, make sure that you let it drain properly until it only drips out. Pour it away and for comparison later I'm gonna pour it in another bottle. At the end I'm gonna show you. This is the last jug of oil before I pour it into the transmission. I want to make sure that I set a little bit aside for comparison later. And uh, now it's time going to be to properly reinstall the drain plug because we're not going to open it again. And I'm going to use uh, the new washer that I got, the aluminum washer. And I'm going to use, you can see in the blue box, the torque wrench to properly uh, torque it to the specs, 35 Nm. Okay, done with that. Now the level plug still uh, use the old o-ring because we still need to set the level later. Uh, pour the last jug of oil. This is going to be the third jug of four liters. Reinstall the drain plug once done. We don't need the fuel plug anymore, so I'm gonna tighten it by hand carefully and reinstall the air filter housing. Make sure it goes just in reverse. Make sure that you tighten the hose clamp and reconnect the muff sensor. Start the engine 
connect via the dice you gotta have it to properly set the transmission oil and you want to find the TCM module which is the transmission control module and you want to pull up on the screen the transmission oil temperature parameter because now we need to monitor while the engine is running we need to monitor the temperature until the transmission oil reaches between 50 to 60 degrees Celsius to drain the excess oil. This is how we set the level properly in the transmission on this car. You gotta have VIDA dice to properly do it. You don't wanna measure it in any other way. Now I'm gonna speed up the process here because it took us like 20 minutes to reach the proper temperature. So we started at around 40 degrees until we reach the proper temperature. Okay, it's at 50 degrees now, we can start draining the excess uh, oil. So we're gonna remove this small uh, level plug and while the oil is gonna be draining, I'm gonna reinstall a, a new o-ring on it. And this is what's gonna happen right now with the transmission oil. So it's high right now because we pour every time more than uh, needed. We're gonna unscrew the uh, level plug and this excess oil will leak out and uh, make sure that the car the engine is running and the car needs to be level okay once it starts dripping you're gonna reinstall the plug okay I'm gonna do it right now I unscrew the level plug Torx 40 Жень, дай на всякий случай еще одну. Тут ольется так. Она сейчас резко прекратится. Все. Ясно видишь. Ставь ее на пол. У меня резинку. Ставь ее на пол. While the oil is draining, we reinstall the small black uh, o-ring on the level plug. The oil stopped pouring, it's more dripping now. It's time to just uh, reinstall the plug completely. Hand tighten it properly, carefully. Don't over tighten it. We put the new o-ring on it already. While I do all this, the temperature in the transmission is 50 degrees Celsius, which is okay. It needs to be between 50 and 60 anyway. I tighten carefully the plug. Now I'm gonna clean around with some brake cleaner to make sure that later on I can spot any leaks, if any. I don't think it's gonna happen. Now we need to reset the transmission fluid change counter. Now every time when you change oil in the transmission you need to do this and uh, I don't want to explain anything, I'm gonna let you read here shortly. You can pause the video okay. and read it yourself. Okay, you got it. So we're gonna try and reset it. We're gonna hit start. And operation failed. Now operation failed because we didn't follow the instructions properly. The engine needs to be off and our engine was running. So engine off, ignition in position 2, which means ignition on. We're gonna retry it. Okay, operation finished. So now everything is set to zero because now we have fresh transmission oil. We did not reset the adaptation, which is another story. Job done. We've changed the transmission oil in the Volvo. Now let's compare 
This last uh, bottle is uh, the oil that's in the transmission right now. This is when we set the level. On paper towel I'm gonna pour a little bit. This way we can see the color a little bit better. From right to left, first drain is the oil that was in the transmission since the car was manufactured. It was never changed before. You can see it's kind of purple to gray in color. Second drain is after the first jug. Third drain is after the second jug of oil. And the level drain is after the third jug of oil. And the last one is the new oil from the jug. You can definitely see the difference in color and it's not going to be a hundred percent clean oil right now in the transmission but very close in my opinion this was the easiest way uh, to do it at home let's take uh, another look so we've used 12 liters of oil let's take a look at the first drain the oil that was in the transmission since the car was manufactured and uh, it was never changed before still good in color still has some redness to it not too brown not too black after the first jug, this would be kind of 50-50 in the transmission. It got uh, cleaner. After the second jug of oil, now it's gonna be like 25% uh, of old oil in it. Uh, looks even cleaner. And after the third jug of oil, I would say 12.5% of old oil in it. Still pretty close to new. And uh, the fresh oil, uh, from the jug looks just like this. Let's compare it to the oil that we have right now in the transmission Yes, it's not as clean But still pretty close And in my opinion it was uh, the easiest way again I'm going to repeat myself and let's compare to the old oil that was in it a big difference if you've enjoyed watching this please hit like subscribe to my channel for more next coming up on the channel is uh, how i replace the blower fan in my volvo which was much more difficult job than doing the transmission oil change i hope to see you soon guys i'll keep it up thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye